Hey students, it's Natural Smarty. For this nature challenge, I want you to investigate life under a log. But first, let's talk about microhabitats. But wait, back up even further. What's a habitat? Animals, plants, any living thing, fungus. They need food, water, shelter, and space. Those are the classic minimum components of a habitat. So a microhabitat is a smaller habitat within a larger one. So how about this? If we look at this tree here, the bark layers could be a microhabitat because a beetle might want to lay its eggs in between those little layers there. So the beetle eggs can grow up into larvae and the larvae have something to eat and they can stay safe. So a habitat for you might be home because you've got pizza there, you've got water at the kitchen sink, you have a uh, space to dance, you have shelter, that's the roof over your head, so when it rains and it's windy, you don't get cold. So your habitat is your home, right? You're a living thing. Okay, this nature challenge goes out to my fourth grade science teacher, Mrs. Nemeth, who taught me the most important step to the scientific method is curiosity. Here we go. While you're investigating small things on the forest floor, keep your eyes open for tracks from animals and scat too. In this case, this might be from a coyote. You see how it ends in this twisted rope style there and it has natural materials. So it's probably not from a domestic dog. Coyote normally leaves behind a little lighter gray in color, but I still think this is our largest wild dog in Ohio, the coyote. I am scanning the forest floor for a log to take a peek underneath. We have one right there. Underneath that log where it contacts the forest floor is definitely a microhabitat. Why? Because the temperature is different, it's probably warmer. The humidity is different, it's probably wetter. The amount of airflow is different than out here. It's going to be less flowing air. I'm going to roll this log away from me and of course when I'm done I will put it back gently roll it over let's oh yeah we have life we do ha oh man whoa we have terrestrial mollusk eggs and what I'm talking about are probably things like snails and slugs wow look at those they're beautiful wow can you see those those are great and next to it we have a lot of not so nervous Probably beetle larvae right there. Maybe even a lightning bug. You see that one right there? I believe that's gonna grow into a firefly or lightning bug. We have millipedes right here. You see the millipedes? Oh yeah. I bet there's a worm in here somewhere too. Here we go. There's a worm. The life under a log is endless. I bet if we keep peeking around. Oh, there's some more of those eggs. Wow, cool. Oh yeah, the more you look, where you find we're oh yeah and we've got a potato bug right there in a group of animal called isopods quite a bit of life under here there's probably fungus too all right i'm gonna roll this over because i don't want to change the habitat too much i don't want the micro habitat to change for those animals check out these leaves from this american beach left over from last year what a weird phenomenon. It's called marcescence, when the tree holds on to organic material from a previous year for no reason that anybody knows about yet. Marcescence. Look how they just sort of wiggle in the wind. I stumbled across a slug on this decaying red oak leaf. I'm curious if those eggs underneath that log are from a slug like this. We'd have to ask a limicologist. That's a slug scientist, someone who studies shellless gastropod mollusks. You know what else you might notice as you're scanning the forest floor for that perfect log? The leaves from a spring wildflower called yellow trout lily. They're mottled and speckled with brown spots. That's what you're looking for. And they're named that way because there's a species of fish called brook trout, which might be speckled in this same sort of way. You might see the yellow petals though. Six yellow petals with red anthers poking up between. Anthers are the piece of a wildflower that provides the pollen. 
Thanks for coming along on this virtual hike. I'm Naturals Marty. You've been given your next nature challenge. Investigate the life under a log. See how many different living things you can find in that micro habitat. Good luck. <laughs>